Razer recently announced a $250 keyboard that has null binds built in. If you don't know what null binds are, let me explain. Normally, mechanical keyboards work by letting you hold down multiple keys at once with a feature called N key rollover. N meaning N number of keys, so I can hold down a large amount of keys at once and they're all registered. So if N is 10, I can hold down 10 keys at once, etc. Old keyboards have weird ways that they're wired, so there's only a certain number of keys that'll register at once on the keyboard before it stops registering them. This isn't a problem on modern mechanical keyboards. And so since it's kind of useless to hold down 10 keys at once, I'm just gonna worry about WASD for this video because it's all that matters. Null binds prevent you from holding down A and D and WS at the same time. But since WS is kind of inconsequential, I'm just gonna focus on A and D for this video. Normally, if you hold down A and D at the same time in game, you could repeatedly spam D and it would look like this. But if you were to have null binds enabled, it would look like this. So you can see how this might give you an advantage. It looks like it's something that could be exploited in game in some weird way. Normally, this is used as an exploit, or in some people's opinion, like mine, it's a cheat in KZ servers, where if you were to do fast strafes and have A and D held at the same time, it was called having overlap, meaning that you can't gain any advantage from the air strafe since you aren't gaining speed until you let go of one of the keys. Here you can see that the player never has held A and D at the exact same time, giving them an advantage. In KZ jump statting terms, there are multiple binds that people use, but typically people will refer to these jumps as binded or not binded, where binded is if you're using null binds or a minus W bind. But the point I'm trying to make is that there's a difference between having nulls and not having nulls. You can really get crazy with null binds, here you can see my friend from a long time ago turning on null binds and getting 13 strafes, 12 strafes per long jump. And it seems kind of broken, you know, it, all you really have to do is hold down one key and spam the shit out of the other one and wiggle your mouse back and forth, get the right timing, and then boom, your long jumps are suddenly much better. So it was recently debated on Twitter if these binds give an unfair advantage over the other team, as you're essentially using a pay to win feature in game that other people can't have. Luckily, these binds are not locked behind a paywall and I'm gonna show you how to enable them and test for yourself if you like how it feels to play with. At this moment, I can't really discern if it's an advantage or not. Sometimes it feels like it's an advantage and sometimes it feels like it's kind of limiting. Uh, it can be really strange to play with. It's not normal. It's not like how CSGO felt if you've never used them before. It's a completely different feeling. So here's how you do it. So you can use an existing config file for this, but I'm just gonna make a new one for the sake of this video. So this is pretty similar to making an auto exec file. It's the exact same process. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to this file directory right here. I'm gonna right click, new, text document. This will be the exact same on Windows 11. Okay, and so in the description, I left the binds. I got these from FN Sense. I don't know how to say this guy's name. His channel is CSAFAP. You can go subscribe to him in the description. And so I'm just gonna paste this right here into this notepad file and then don't save it. Go to file, save as, and then head down to save as file type and change this to all files. I already have one, so I'm just gonna call it null.cfg here. And the .cfg is super important because now it'll save as a config file and it won't save as a text file, so hit save. Okay, and you can see right here, null.cfg, you can see it's a CFG file extension. We can open it up here in Notepad++ just so you can see. Okay, so now that we have our config, let's go in game. Okay, so now that we're in game, I have my key presses showing on screen so you can see what I mean. So if I hold one direction key and then spam the other one, you can see that I'm kind of jiggling and it, you know, kind of jittering, but I'm still moving to the left, right? So now I'm gonna do exec null, so we called it null in this example. Okay, and so you can see that the config ran here. And so now I'm gonna hold down D and hit A. And you see how now I'm holding down D but spamming A, and now I'm just jiggling in place. And so what this means is that you can counter strafe almost instantly. It's kind of strange. Uh, it's really weird to get used to, I'm gonna be honest. And on screen right now is me playing a game the other day, just with the null binds enabled. And honestly, I didn't really notice that big of a difference. So this is kind of where the debate starts because in KZ, I absolutely believe that null binds are cheating because of the long jumps that you can do in KZ where air acceleration isn't capped like it is in vanilla. Well, it's, it's still capped, but it's capped way higher, right? It gives you such an advantage in long jumping and it almost takes the entire skill out of long jumping because if I was to, you know, have to do this with my keys, right? You can see my key presses, I have to actually strafe and kind of stream, you know, like you would in Osu, like back and forth, like A and D. Uh, it actually takes some skill to not have this situation where you're holding A and D at the same time. But as you can see, I can hold A and D at the same time and I, it's as if I just completely let go of the D key, you know, when I'm hitting A. 
And same thing going the other way, right? It, it's almost as if I just let go of A and I can just spam D. And so when you're doing long jumps, I, I, see, I'm not even used to it because it's so like cheatery that I like never enabled it. But th this is how people would long jump, right? They would just spam D. And, uh, you know, you'd get a much longer long jump in KZ. It doesn't really work too well in vanilla because obviously the strafe mechanics are way different to get the longest jump in vanilla. But I'm sure it would help uh, if I was better at long jumping. So yeah, that's just a quick video, guys. Let me know what you think about these binds in the description. Are they cheating? Are they not? And as a disclaimer, I do not know if any admin of any tournament has gone on record to say if these binds are allowed or not. So use these at your own risk. I don't believe Faceit will ban you for this because you're using in-game console commands. Obviously, they ban people for using those like wall hack exploits, but that's a totally different story. You absolutely will not get banned in matchmaking for this. Uh, if you do get banned in matchmaking for this and you can prove it, I'll send you my knife. I'm that confident that you won't get banned in matchmaking and you probably won't get banned in face of pugs for this. But I would really be careful and ask tournament admins if you're playing a tournament if these binds are allowed. And if they're not, don't use them. The easiest way to unbind them, since this doesn't save to your config if you did the file like I did, is to just do bind W plus forward bind S plus back, bind A plus left, and bind D plus right, and then you're back to normal. If you want to save these to your config, all you have to do is do host underscore right config, just like that, and hit enter. And now your config is saved with the alias binds for the null binds. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Try it out in your games. I really don't believe it's that much of an advantage in pugs and whatnot. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'll be proven wrong one day, but... So just remember that you don't have to buy Razer's $250 keyboard. To get this feature, you can just do it for free. I have a Wooting, and, you know, best of both worlds, I have a Wooting and uh, Null Binds now. And I'll probably be switching off these Binds. I don't really enjoy them that much. They don't really change that much, so uh, there's no point to really have them on. For me, at least. Maybe for you, you enjoy using them, and maybe in the future, in a few months, they become completely meta, and somebody has to make a statement about it. So, uh, yeah, enough yapping. Uh, that's the end of this video. Peace.